Episode 4 starts with Xania giving a book to the Demon King, in which they plan something involving pictures of female Demon Clan members made to resemble a matchmaking book. The Demon King visits Max's room and shows him the book filled with pictures of female Demon Clan members to see if any of them catch his interest. The Demon King gives it as a gift out of pity for Max, who, despite becoming famous after battling the Demon King, is now seemingly lonely and without a partner. The female ghost residing with Max sarcastically responds to the Demon King's remark, realizing someone is making fun of her. However, when she turns to face the person, the ghost's form disappears instantly. Max replies that he currently doesn't need a girlfriend, but the Demon King thinks it's just an excuse and senses Max's loneliness. Therefore, the Demon King brings the book so Max can find a partner quickly. The book contains pictures of female demons directly under the Demon King's command, allowing Max to quickly find a potential match if he's interested. Max spontaneously refuses the offer, recalling an event from 10 years ago when he and his group defeated the Demon King's forces and doubts the sincerity of the offer. The Demon King nonchalantly assures Max that demons have seven lives and do not care about life and death. The Demon King urges Max to open the book and see the well-arranged photos of the demon girls, whom he claims are all good girls. Upon opening the book to the first page, Max reacts by slamming it onto the bed as he sees Xania's picture. The Demon King laughs at Max's reaction and casually mentions that Xania is also interested in Max. Max hesitates due to his bad experience when Xania chased him while naked. Despite that, Max finds Xania the most beautiful and reasonable among all the photos. The Demon King explains that Xania is actually a good and normal girl, as long as she doesn't consume alcohol. Max is skeptical about the term normal used by the Demon King, considering Xania's attire, which looks like swimwear with a shirt and tie underneath. The Demon King insists on showing more photos of other girls. Max opens the book and curses when he sees a female orc warrior. He questions the Demon King's definition of normal when humans are involved with orcs, who clearly have pig-like human bodies. The Demon King scolds Max for insulting his subordinates and explains that Rebecca, the female orc, is one of his top warriors and could be a good match for Max. Despite the Demon King's explanation, Max continues to protest, expressing his disagreement with the Demon King's unconventional thinking. To prove his point, the Demon King shows a photo of a beautiful woman with brown skin, which indeed captivates Max. However, he becomes unnerved when he learns that the woman is a Lamia, a human with a snake body, which gives him chills. The persistent Demon King continues to show the remaining photos of the female Demon Clan members, which remind Max of the time he fought the giant dragon and giant squid directly. Max acknowledges their strength and the challenges his group faced, realizing that all the Demon Clan members in the photos are women. He doesn't understand the Demon King's intention behind showing him the photos for introductions. Annoyed, Max answers that none of them interest him, feeling like he's given a monster guidebook. The Demon King is annoyed by Max's high standards for women and asks him about his ideal type. Max explains that he prefers someone who looks like an ordinary human, but the Demon King humorously suggests it wouldn't matter if their head could be detached, immediately making Max reject the idea. The Demon King, still suggesting Xania, makes Max reconsider as he finds Xania a bit naive. So, Max searches for a girl who is smart, firm, elegant, can cook, is beautiful, has a good sense of style, and has straight black hair. Knowing Max's preferences, the Demon King transforms into a sexy schoolgirl outfit. Max is stunned to see the Demon King in disguise, as he has seen the Demon King's real form when he was relaxing with his clothes on the clothesline. The Demon King fulfills all of Max's requests, even suggesting marriage to tease him. Suddenly, Max's doorbell rings, and the Demon King realizes it must be Xania. He quickly changes back into his child form, and Xania arrives to meet the Demon King. She notices the Demon King's red face but assumes he's suffering from a fever. The Demon King tries to invite Max to join the Demon Clan again, just like 10 years ago, knowing that Max will likely refuse. However, he persists in trying to convince Max. He presents a seminar on the benefits of joining the Demon Clan, such as higher pay, more work allowances, more holidays than humans, and greater respect for subordinates. Max is initially interested due to the extraordinary salary offer. The Demon King and Xania make strong efforts to persuade Max to join. Without hesitation, the Demon King hands over the registration form to Max. However, 
Max logically considers that he is still a human and doesn't want to abandon his humanity. For him, being human, despite the difficulties and annoyances, makes him choose to remain human rather than become a demon. He fears immortality more than human mortality. The Demon King tries to motivate Max to find new enthusiasm for life, at least enough to support his daily needs. Eventually, Max is motivated to try something by becoming a Pookuber, where he becomes a content creator. The first attempt as a content creator was made by Max, creating a video while playing a game. Then, the Demon King asked Zania about it, and she explained that being a Pookuber is risky as no one watches it. Eventually, the Demon King visited Max while he was making his content. After finishing, they discussed their expectations of making money from it, but unfortunately, no one watched it. Max was disappointed by the fruitless effort. The Demon King tried to watch the content from start to finish but couldn't say anything because Max lacked talent in that area. Nevertheless, the Demon King encouraged Max to keep trying. After the encouragement, Max regained his enthusiasm to create content that would be viewed by many people and aimed to monetize his PooTube account. On the following day, Max attempted to make food review content, but it failed. He then tried singing content, but because of his bad voice, he received harsh comments from PooTube users. Later, he tried making review content again, but it was criticized as it seemed copied from other sources, lacking originality. Feeling frustrated and unproductive, Max started slacking off. The Demon King suggested that they create content together, with the Demon King disguised as the seductive woman Max had seen before. The provocative appearance instantly boosted viewership. While the Demon King read the comments, mostly from perverted and desperate men, Max advised him from behind the laptop screen to review ice cream properly. The Demon King followed Max's advice and fetched the popsicle from the fridge. Nonchalantly, he ate it without any expression and Max directed him to review it properly. The Demon King, trying to please the audience, mainly consisting of perverted men, attempted to eat the ice cream in an erotic manner. Unfortunately, the ice cream dripped onto his clothes, making him feel hot and prompting him to take off his clothes. On the other side, Max wanted to see the Demon King's tempting assets, and the impatient viewers anticipated the moment when the Demon King, disguised as the seductive girl, would take off his clothes, However, right before he was about to remove his top, his PooTube account received a severe violation and was permanently banned for containing explicit content. PooTube's community standards strictly prohibit pornography in their videos. Both Max and the Demon King felt regretful for attempting something that clearly violated the PooTube community standards. They realized their foolishness after the act and regretted it. What will happen next? Will Leo appear in the next episode? Let's wait and see.